Okay, one more episode right now. I'm gonna take a quick break of about, I don't know, two minutes? <laughs> really not long. No, no, resist the urge. I'd love to take ideas before tech, but for military that can really go down the drain. We won the naval race. Good job. Our manpower is fine, doesn't need to recover at all. Yeah, lying freck. <laughs> negative four point four, negative seven. Monferrat. Opinion of the Emperor, negative forty four. We have to change that. Ugh. Another negative one. Whoever hates us, we need to improve relations with them. ASAP. Why would they be hating? Because of the aggressive expansion. And we'll be overcoming that anyways, but still. No, I just went down because of us losing that reputation, which is very annoying because that's another 10 years. We'll probably not have to wait 10 years, but still. I want my goddamn vassal hammer. Which of course used to be a lot stronger because you, nations didn't used to be nerfed when they became vassal. I mean they paid some income to you, yes. But they weren't like excessively nerfed because now it's just a massive nerf where you get less force limit and less basic income for being a vassal than when you were a free nation. So yeah, sad times. Have one more shipping coming. Uh, thirty. I thought I had thirty in commission. Yeah, there's one more coming. Cool. We might want to, you know, delay the annexation here until we actually get the reform. I wish we could sort them. Sort these princes by who would agree, who wouldn't? Okay, Trier agrees. He does not agree because he hates me. And for overextension and other stuff. And it agrees. He agrees. He agrees. He agrees. Does not agree. Emperor's not West Slavic. Well, I can't do much about that. We need to improve relations with them. We could 
But everybody doesn't agree with the leave the empire, so no. Just keep on improving with everybody doesn't agree yet. On for all Bohemia, yes, yes. Um, Nuremberg, still in the disagreeing camp. Oh, is he still there? Don't see him anymore. Where are you, Nuremberg? Oh no, he's in the green camp now. Who else disagrees? So scary hovering over it. Augsburg disagrees. East Frisia disagrees. Tuscan disagrees. I bet Tuscan disagrees highly. Tuscan. Where are you? There you are. Who doesn't disagree that highly? I'm afraid it's still one of the most disagreeing. Laka, you disagree. By a ton. Just need improved relations with these guys, essentially. Oh, how do we get it? Care. Oh, no. All that reformed land. It's so disgusting. We'll still be mostly Catholic. Also, we can get the center of attention achievement by creating the empire quickly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> 69. Guess that's funny, right? Um. Show me your disagreeing faces. No! Not Leopold! Not Leopold! Maybe we can get the French dynasty now. Probably not. Poland, do you want a royal marriage? <laughs> a rivalry attitude! Now we do not. Norway. Hello, Norway. How's that a disputed succession? Oh, because he has a weak claim air. Well, I can actually claim it anyways. Yeah, that's right, I have one transport ship. Why? Because we got it in war. You can't just delete a trophy, right? I mean, it's a trophy. As soon as the cores are in, a lot of these will accept our divinity. So how bad is our religious unity right now? 83%, not too bad. Wonderful. Now what do you say? 
Muscony, Frankfurt, Saxony. How about we add some more land to the empire? It's all imperial now. I also hate that heathens still lower your imperial authority despite the fact that you get religious peace. Genoa, Siena. East Frisia, Genoa, and Siena and Tuscan. Okay. East Frisia. Where are East Frisia? There we go. Seven. Tuscany. Eight point three. Wonderful. I mean, to be fair, converting ourselves wouldn't be that bad. We have religious ideas. We could do but be defender of the faith in order to get more missionaries. It wouldn't be that terrible, but force converting will probably be easier. Sienna. Oh, it's not Sienna. Sienna, negative 18, okay. Sienna and Genoa. Where are you, Genoa? Genoa, 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 Genoa. Here's my name, okay. So it's mainly Sienna that's like hating on us a ton. And we'll be mine soon. And East Frisia. Okay. Which is not in East Frisia anymore. <laughs> yeah, because you took it, of course. There we go. Oh, God, no. We'll be getting that horrible modifier, subjugation of the papacy, and I think occupation of Rome as well. Roma owned by Austria or a vassal. Yeah, so if you actually subjugate them, you get both of these. So it's better to eat them than to vassalize the Pope. Getting so close. Only Sienna. Only that fracker Sienna. No, not you. Sienna, there. Free city Sienna. Imperial authority doing some work here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, we will declare war on you, that's right. You only have subjugation of the papacy, really? Or maybe the Pope doesn't exist in your vassal swarm. Maybe it doesn't tell you everything in the trigger modifiers. It's oftentimes that it doesn't tell you everything. Oh no. 
the ancient the military coalition. I wonder if it counts as a coalition war if you declare on them. I mean, it really, really shouldn't, but who cares? Even if it does. Yeah, I think it will be okay now. Yes, 57 princes. Privileges were revoked. <laughs> oh, holy crap. Who has too much liberty desire? Okay, I need to annex the freaking empire quickly here. So you have a whole bunch of people that have tons and tons of liberties there. Turn them into marches, I guess. Crap. How many subjects do you have? Uh, just about 57. Wait a minute, do my old relationships still count? Snap back up here. My three vassals count, yes, but my four former relationships with the um with some of the HRV guys did count. Still we can probably just declare on the Ottomans now. No diplomats to send, that's fine. Broke their alliance with us again. Subjugation of the papacy. Huh, huh. Uh, just, just stop it. Stop having such high liberties there. Okay. Let's retract all of these. <laughs> oh god damn it okay general genoa Where are you, Genoa? Nope, wrong one. There we go. We need to placate him twice. No, oh, once was enough. No more upset vassals. I should probably still improve relations with the ones that are like the highest in terms of liberty desire, so 
Genoa. You can improve relations. Who else is up high? Milan. So I'm improve relations with you. <laughs> I actually just kind of want to next him. <laughs> oh god, such a vassal hammer. It's beautiful. Hundred and fifty percent. Yeah, I mean that will be nice. If I'm getting influence, but well, do I really want to get influence? We're so precarious right now. Hmm. Military tech. Diamond tech. Because we don't have a great amount of diplo tech in total. Also, can you turn vassals into HRE vassals after you formed it? Because it used to be that you couldn't anymore. Like once you have formed the HRE, that that was it. You couldn't really add anything anymore. Cardinal demonstration. Not right now. Not while the only heretic territory that we have is literally unconvertible. Do we have all the centers? I think every single center of reformation spawned within our territory. What is my income right now? 50. 50. At 87. Ducats. It's not bad. Not bad. I'm pretty sure that'll be fine. Declaring a war versus them. Of course, we'll show superiority. Massal swarm. Oh crap, I should have a next. One of my little guys first. Oh no, Hamburg! Get your religion in order. I should see if any of these guys have zero liberty desire. Like Friesland, for example, do you have zero liberty desire? Nope. I'd still be willing to force religion on him. <laughs> Just force religion on everybody. Could do it. Now let's just do it one at a time. Like force religion on Saxony now. Actually, Friesland is probably the easiest to start out with. And they do have a center, so... It's fairly important that we get them converted, so... Ah, come on, where are you, Friesland? Where are you, Friesland? There you go.
Once again, we're gonna find Friesland, but I think they're at the very bottom, so it's fine. There we go. Placate him a little bit. That will counteract that we just converted him. We might be able to keep one of each center, but certainly not you know, all the centers. Oh, we got some rebels shit. When did those assets spawn? Also, the Ottomans have their big ass na navy again. Why didn't you join? Oh crap, they didn't join. Well, fuck you too, Aragon. First wanting an alliance again and then becoming hostile. You'll be next. This might not be the best CB to use the Vassal Hammer. a single bat. <laughs> the pure jackhammer, essentially, yes. Some are, are fighting. We are six. We are still about four hundred thousand strong. Still a bit over four hundred thousand. And oh, never mind, a bit, a little bit under four hundred thousand. Still pretty good. We can just loosen my. Vassals onto the empire. Hmm. I love the idea of three stability. It's like we'll have the most stable empire in all of the world. We'll do this mission. What's the mission exactly? What are the mission parameters? In the dark here region, okay. Okay, we can do that. It's only a few provinces. Almost a naval battle, but the that actually does count? Damn it! But naval battles don't count. Touch this unit. <laughs> we can get some of our vassals to attach to us. That might be enough. Still have the larger navy. Force limit! That force limit contribution is abysmal. So I'm looking forward to actually being the culture union over all of Germany. Oh, look at all that land. Oh, Calais is actually one of the few German provinces that we don't have in our grasp yet. And of course, you can't do the Holy Roman record race like a Roomba did anymore. Mainly because now there's actually liberty desire. <laughs> that actually makes your little vassals I also get get the land to Byzantium. Just 
still don't know. Can you actually make HRE vassals? After you have done the reform? Like if I would create a vassal right now that had like his capital in the HRE. Would he count as an HRE vassal? Did you get my vassal swarm so fast? Apparently it wasn't the fastest so far. Undying was probably faster than this. And I just did the Emperor stuff. It wasn't that quickly. I essentially just kicked out Burgundy out of the HRE. I kicked out Poland out of the HRE. I kicked out... Kicked Denmark out. And once you have people kicked out... Oh, you get it fairly quickly. That Imperial Authority changed so... Very, very quick. And once you have... It, um, eternal Peace. Or this allows Internal Wars. Then you'll easily get the extra 0 0.11 for peace in the empire, or even more. Like now it's point, point 0.16 because there's so much peace <laughs> inside the empire. As long as nobody's fighting each other, it's fine. Which becomes increasingly unlikely, especially if you keep on breaking their alliances before you get it, before you get the eternal peace. Oh, 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 get in there, get in there, we can't lose, no, we lost, we lost, my poor little vassals, we lost, just, you know, get them enough time so we can actually have our chat hammer come in, oh, hello there. So this can all go to Hungary. So you're not paying any Diplo points in this CB to give people land. So you're probably just gonna split this between Hungary and Byzantium. And then the next them as quickly as possible. I also do believe that I wanna get grey skin going as quickly as possible. Yes, a vassal swarm is cool and all, but I want to have control of the troops myself. Even if it's only half the number. It will be half the number controlled by me. Revolting clone. Come on. <laughs> Massive Swarm is overrated. <laughs> Have you ever enjoyed the Imperial Jackhammer? Because yes, it's dumb. Yes, most of these guys don't have a brain. But holy crap, it just destroys everything. On the other hand, I would love to use the Religious War CB on everybody. Also, ouch, ouch. Ouch, go back, go back into my lands. Which of course is a lot worse when your vassals keep on losing battles. Oh yay! Just die you awful awful human being. Or set of data points. Um, that maintenance goes down. Fine with that. <laughs> Just give me more money. More cash money! Oh, you know. More manpower. More cash money would also be great. Really? Why does everybody rival me now? Never mind. Poland dropped us as a rival. 
Poland dropped us as a rival. Interesting. You always build manufacturers everywhere? I could. I mean, they do create the most money over the long term. It's like the best money for building slot ratio. Not the best money for investment ratio though. Stop losing battles, stupid swarm. Damn it. God fucking damn it. No! Cardinal exposed! I mean, I mean, there are strategies to get essentially the entirety of Europe into the Empire before enacting the Vassal Swarm. Problem with the Swarm is they have no fleet. Yeah, but we have a fleet. We have a good enough fleet that keeps essentially the Ottomans out. The big problem is that they lose battles. I mean, that's the problem I have at least right now. I'll be having a lot more war score if they wouldn't just keep on... Stupidly losing battles. This is of course for every 80 stack that they form, they lose like 10 5 stacks or some, some stuff around there. Ugh. <laughs> At least they help each other out. No. We're down to only two stability. What will we ever do? Ooh. Oh, yes. Give me that land maintenance modifier. I mean, we're still paying way too much. 0 0.16? I mean, come on. It's more than 0 0.02. Therefore, it's way too much. Ferraro have any claim on this prize? Why deploy ideas over influence? Because I wanted a diplomat earlier. I really, really needed that diplomat. <laughs> can have it. Why can they have it? Well, because I don't need it. And they will, I'll be taking it back, which is one quick decision, so... Yeah. <laughs> Tuscan is against the reform. You don't really have a choice there. But I will be taking influence very, very soon. I'm also just going to destroy the vassal hammer because I'd much rather become Grayskin right away. Grayskin and just eat into everybody. Also the fact that I will just be able to have essentially any vassal after that. Right now I still have the problem that they might have Get liberties there. I do want to get rid of them. I would much rather not have a vassal swarm fall in on me, like destroying me. the world with it. 
Oh, well, they're doing a pretty bad job right now. They lost me all of those battles. Of cardinals. We all have plenty of cardinals once we have all that territory. One or two won't matter anymore. So many do we have right now? We have five still, so. I think that's a plenty. Also, mercantilism. Yeah! <laughs> get the achievement for 100 mercantilism because I'm just gonna get a ton of papal influence. can get 10 that would be every 10 years one every 10 years <laughs> it wouldn't be enough would it It'd only give us like 30 in total meaning we'll need even more get all the cardinal seats Well, on the other hand, we actually will be getting the occupation of Rome again, I think. Unless we decide to leave him free. Release the Pope. But I don't think we will. So maybe we would have been better off going like Protestant or something like that. Frankly, we could go any religion we want right now, couldn't we? Uh, turn into a reformed huge empire. The problem is you're generally better off as a Catholic as a huge empire. Because of all the papal influence. But if you, if you get Rome, then... Well, there will be no papal influence. It would have to be insanely huge in order to make up for the negative 10. Massile Hammer, come on, do your job. Oh yeah, the problem would be the papal influence points that you're not getting anymore. And I mean, 10 papal influence... You can essentially get 10 influence points a month by having all of this. Easily. And losing those would be very annoying because you can get a lot of benefit out of it, even in this version. If you're making 10 a month, that's... Or not 10 a month, 10 a year. That would be one mercantilism every single or every decade so in a hundred years you could get ten mercantilism or you know bump your stability ten times I can declare a strain of appeals I could I mean at that point it would essentially not matter anymore And I guess you get some benefits. <laughs> the Ottomans are at war with the Mamluks. I don't think that's a good idea. All of this to this vassal and all of this to the other vassal. Then I want to do a little test.
<laughs> if I could still make somebody a HRE vassal. We didn't say poor player in core, right? Yes. Take core of it in, put it into the empire. Then we'll see, I guess. There we go, you freaking betraying bastard. Oh, I guess. Does Vassal Swarm become more passive? Oh well, I'll. I'm gonna keep on forcing them to become Catholic, I think. I mean, it's essentially what you have to do, yes. In every single war. And nothing else. I could get Lithuania into another war, I bet. If we declare one versus somebody else. Declare one versus Denmark. Sweden is not still the Swedish Reconquest. Oh, okay. Swedish Reconquest. Good. <laughs> oh, Poland switched sides. They used to be the allies of Denmark. Now they're not anymore. Oh, no, we're actually getting down to one stability. Pope, help me, Pope. I can get the Pope up to 200. Yes, yes. Our gain will be insane. It will be modified by 100%. Just imagine this. So it'll be 10. <laughs> Still, good enough. Make them all love me. And you can just make all the money because you don't need a m that much of an army. We need enough to rival your vassal swarm, I guess. Kind of. Georgia. You're a vassal of QQ. Oh, hello there! That is one huge Iraq. Holy crap. So we need a line connection for our next war. So we might go to war versus Denmark. Would have to fabricate a claim though, wouldn't I? Claim thrown? Yeah, no. Covered actions. Fabricate a claim. On Schleswig. Yes, please. So we'd love to ally Lithuania and then get them into a war versus Denmark and then attack Poland viciously and horrifically and just destroy them. Oh crap. I guess I'll just spend some points upgrading then. want to do 
Oh well. Upgrading it is. I personally usually dislike do that. There, enough points spent. Trabazond is mine. Which hopefully means that soon I'll have enough water. We're still at negative one from Babs because of these freaking idiots. Let's get the particularists out of this war. Or out of the provinces that we actually want. I might just take some land myself. I'm capable of coring. I'm get plenty of admin. Frankly, I should probably be focusing in on something else. <laughs> I've been focusing on admin since the beginning of the game. Oh well. Focusing on Diplo now is a lot better. <laughs> yes, good job, vassals. 80,000 troops. Good going. Paid in Ottomans. We still are like with Lithuania. That's a problem. Or not. So right now I would just love to ravage all of Asia. It's been going on for six years. It's not acceptable. Not for a world conquest, at least. If this is really going to be one. I have my doubts right now. We are pretty late with the Vassal Swarm, and this autopilot right now is not working out so well. really get in full siege because we can't get any troops to rotate. Oh, that's I need more war summon tendency, maybe. Except my vassal swarm seems to be fairly tired already. They don't want to go to Vaughn for some reason. Why? Why are you assholes not moving on? I can only declare so many wars. <laughs> no castles belly. Oh! Interesting. No CVs are actually made e easier with Diplo ideas. 
Damn it. You guys are actually going now. Breaking a truce is also lessened by this. Interesting. Now that's an easy war. That one I can do myself. <laughs> France plus England. Could probably declare war on France with England. Or on England with France, sorry. Because France still loves me. I'm not sure how well our navy would do against the English navy. Oh great, Regency Council. Hey there everybody, Regency Council is now ruling the HRE. Well on that happy note, I'll be taking a quick break. Just about 10 minutes or so. But still, I'm not happy with the Vassal Swarm. I mean they have 80,000 troops sitting here. Just not going for a van. I just don't understand it. I even like, made the war goal. But nope, they don't want to go there. Too bad. Spill my own navy? Maybe eventually. It's expensive though, and we don't have that much of a force limit. Anyways, I'll take my break now. I'll see you guys soon. As in about 10 minutes. <laughs>